And we will start with breaking news for you. Coming out of Washington, where Barack Obama has signed a new bill it allows further U.S. sanctions against Russia as well as the provision of lethal aid to Ukraine. Let's cross live now to Washington where we can speak to our correspondent Gane Chechi Khan. Uh, Gane, uh, I know there's been a lot of confusion around this bill, not only um, about what it entitles the president to do, but also whether or not it was actually signed previously or until now. Well, it, it is signed. We know that now expanding sanctions against Russia was a congressional initiative which the president signed but said he had no intention to impose new sanctions against Russia at the moment. So what this bill gives the president is the authority to impose further sanctions but it remains up to him whether to do that or not. The White House said signing this legislation does not signal a change in the administration's sanctions policy which we have ca carefully calibrated in accordance with developments on the ground and coordinated with our allies and partners. This bill also authorizes the president to send $350 million worth of arms and military equipment to Ukraine. I asked the State Department spokesperson whether the U.S. is going to do this, and she said the U.S. is not currently providing lethal weapons to Ukraine, and that policy has not changed, she said. So President Obama may never actually use the powers that the bill gives him, but the sanctions that the Obama administration had already imposed on Russia are quite extensive. Under those, some of Russia's largest banks and firms are not allowed to borrow money in the West for more than 30 days. They also ban certain exports to Russian defense and energy firms. In a statement this Thursday, President Obama said we remain prepared to roll back sanctions should Russia take the necessary steps, end of quote. Okay, so there we have the details. Uh, thanks for bringing us up to date. That's our correspondent, Ghani Chechikan.